Hi everyone, hope you're all well out there. This week, guess what? We're going to cut that rim off of that drop vase. And this will be the last video in that series. Welcome to Rocket Rose Art. My name is Jeff. If you haven't seen the other three videos in this series, trying to make a drop vase, I will have the links in the description below. So uh, probably a good idea to go and have a look at those first. Now, I've never done this before, so we're probably both going to learn quite a bit out of this um, and uh, expect some surprises along the way. Now, if you haven't been to my channel before, um, just a reminder that all the glass that I use is uh, Bullseye COE 90 glass. And um, in this video, I won't be doing any fusing or slumping. It is purely just cutting that rim off and a bit of grinding, but otherwise, I normally fuse on uh, thin fire paper and if I'm slumping I use boron nitride spray. Don't forget your safety, that's the most important thing. Uh, make sure you wear your safety glasses and a mask whenever necessary. If you get to the end of the video and uh, you like it enough to help support the channel, um, don't forget you can hit that thumbs up button down the bottom, you can share the video around, uh, you can subscribe so you can get to know uh, whenever I do new videos, don't forget your notifications. And um, down the bottom, we do have a thanks button. So if you want to, you can make a small donation with that thanks button. Now, I do want to give a very sincere thanks to Jim and Steve. Um, thank you very much for your donation. Um, you, I don't think you realise just how much that will help. So let's get into cutting this rim. Well, today's the big day. We're going to try and uh, cut off this rim. There's a couple of ways I can do it. One of them is to use that big uh, tile saw that I've got, or medium-sized tile saw that I've got, and basically cut it off in chunks around here, and then use one of these on a flexible shaft from the Dremel, and run that around about there to uh, take the remainder off. But I'm gonna try one of these first. We'll try and cut it around there and we'll just see how it goes. It is reasonably thick there. So um, yeah, it may be a bit of a challenge. These are only plated, they're not sintered. So I'm uh, not too sure how it'll last, how long it will last. Anyway, we'll give it a go. Well, that was fun. It worked. That little blade did pretty good, really. Um, considering it's only a plated blade, it chewed through that. The glass is reasonably thick as well. I'll we'll just try and show you that. You can see how thick it is there. Um, on some other drops, I've seen the glass is reasonably thin, so it would go easier through thinner glass. 
but did pretty well considering they're fairly cheap those things um, the only thing I did notice is that um, when I'm doing it I had to make sure I kept that as vertical as I could because if I twisted a little bit it would jam up so I had to keep that as vertical as possible it's very messy as you've seen water going everywhere which is why I'm in my little cutting room and uh, when you first especially when you first dip it into the water it just flies everything everywhere but once you get out of the water a bit it's not so bad so that worked well um, it's not a straight cut but uh, we're going to fix that on the grinder and uh, that's what's next Now, don't forget your comments and questions in the comments section below. I'm sure you'll have some questions about that process. Um, I will do my best to answer those questions. And um, always, always, I will respond to all comments. Okay, let's have a look at this. It worked, as you can see, it's all cut off all the way around, a bit roughly, but it is cut off. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with that big hunk of glass, obviously it will get reused somewhere along the lines. Let's have a look, I've ground the, um, I've ground the top of it down and I've been through a few different grades of, um, of uh, diamond pads. I've tried to put a little bit of an angle on it, give it a bit of... Um, um, <clears throat> style I suppose but there are problems and I'm not going to correct them I'm going to leave them that way to remind myself now first one that's from me when I put the um, diamond saw down I touch the side and I've done that in a couple of places so to get around that in future and we'll go down into the water further and then come back up to the cut so I don't cause that. To get rid of that I would have had to grind a lot of glass away and I don't want to do that so it's just going to stay. The other thing, I then tried a diamond pad to just get rid of that edge around there and it worked fine um, but um, depending on how you do it if I do it that way, it chips, you can see there, so I took a couple of little chips out, again I'm not going to grind them out, they're going to be there to remind me forever and a day, so I ground it that way at a 45 degree angle, don't do it that way, and that worked a lot better, so that has given it a nice little beveled edge, now I could polish this edge, um, I do have a uh, big felt pad there and some cerium oxide, but I'm not going to. I think the um, that little satiny finish is, is quite nice. Now, a couple of things about the bowl. Um, it worked out, and yeah, there were mistakes, but um, the design, it seemed a bit chunky to me. It's sort of a bit wide for the height. So what I'm going to do is at some point in the future, I am going to make another one. This time I'm going to probably use a mould I'll make, um, mainly because I can't buy them anywhere over here. I don't know whether in the US or anywhere else in the world you can get them, but here in Australia everything is very, very tight at the moment. So I'm going to be making a mould, probably out of fibreboard, and we're going to try another drop vase at some point, but it'll be much smaller, so hopefully the uh, ratio between the width of the vase and the height will make it look a little bit more elegant. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope it uh, gave you some good information. 
Um, if you enjoyed it and you want to watch a couple more, you'll find a couple of suggested videos up there. Your subscribe button is right there. Don't forget your notifications. And until the next one, I'll say bye for now.